one chair. Okay. Way too far back. Okay. Hey everyone, long time no talk. Oh my gosh, it feels so weird, but so good to be back in front of the camera again and just talking and whatever. Um, yeah, it's been, what? Like almost, I think like four months since the last time I uploaded a video. So much has just happened in my life since then. And honestly, long story short, I just didn't really have time to film and upload, but I am back at it and I'm super excited because it's now summer and I have a lot of like cool video ideas planned, but you know, we'll see where it goes. And without further ado, let's get started and on with my collective haul. Before we start with the video, I just want to apologize in advance if um, I'm playing a lot with my hair or like my hair is just all over the place. It's just so annoying and I am getting it cut. I'm actually making a video of me cutting my hair or me getting my hair cut and donating it to Pantene. Okay, so now let's get on to the video. Okay, so I went to a few stores and a lot of these things that I've purchased um, have been purchased in the span of like a couple of weeks, so I can't guarantee if any of these things are still gonna be in store, but yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys what I got. So the first store that I went to is um, American Eagle, but I don't have the bag because I've already thrown it out and I've already started wearing the clothes that I bought from there. But yes, so the first item I got, which I saw this on the mannequin, I was just like, oh yes, I want that so bad. And it's this. It's just such a solid material. I love it. Um, it's the AE Vintage Boyfriend, um, like button down, um, in like uh, army green color. And it's just so flowy and nice, and it looks really cute with like a crop top underneath. So yeah, I just thought it'd be cute. So I grabbed that. And then two things from their soft. Oh, from their soft and sexy line, I got um, this like muscle tank. It's really drapey, and I got it in a size large because I just wanted it to be really comfortable, um, and it looked really cute with a bralette or like a sports bra underneath just to throw on. And then I got this like oversized crop top that's like beige with or like an off white color with I don't know if this is black or navy blue stripes, but whatever, one of those. And yeah, again, it's just a nice like shirt to throw on you know, for those days where you're just feeling a little lazy. Okay, next um, I went to Urban Outfitters and I only purchased a couple things. I've been actually on the hunt for one of these items, so I was really happy when I found it at Urban Outfitters. I'm just gonna throw that away. Um, the first item are these black high-waisted shorts. Okay, first of all, the reason why I like them so much is because it's not like a full-on black, it's like a distressed, like, colored black. It looks like somebody's worn them already and washed them like a ton, and I just kind of like that look. And yeah, they're high-waisted. I don't own a pair of like high-waisted shorts because I always think that they look funny on me, and I've just been on the hunt for one, a pair that like doesn't look funny, and these are actually really nice. Um, and they're actually pretty flattering. They're from the brand BDG. So if you guys are interested, go grab those. And then I got a pair of these. I've worn these like tons already. So yeah, they're just a pair of sunglasses. They look like this. They're like huge bug eye sunglasses that I thought were cute. And of course I just gotta put them on. Okay, but yeah, they're really cute. And then I went to Sephora. I only purchased a couple items, but they're like, well, one of these items are like a must have. It's the Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. Yes. Um, seriously, I do not wear makeup if I don't have this on. I just need it. I need it. I need it. To literally every Sephora in Toronto, and they had nothing. Zero. Nothing. And I kept going back like every other day and still nothing. And I finally asked one of the ladies and um, like one of the managers at Sephora and they're like, oh, we actually ran out of all of them, like even the oil one and the 24-hour one. Um, they're like, yeah, we ran out, like they don't even have any at the warehouse. And I was just like, are you kidding me? Like how am I supposed to live right now? Anyways, so I was living without that for a few days, actually like almost two weeks. I don't know how I got through it, but I did. And then yeah, then I went into a Sephora one day and they only had like three of these and I just, I grabbed it because, you know, that's what I do, what you got here. I got this Josie Moran 100% Pure Argan Oil Light. And it's just the mini ones that you can find at like 
the checkout counter or whatever when you're lining up. And it's just this like little tiny bottle, but this costed 20 bucks. But um, seriously, I've heard so many good things about like argan oil and using it as like a moisturizer to even out or to like balance out the oil levels in your like on your skin. Um, and even if you're oily, it's good for you. If you're dry, it's good for you. Anyway, so far so good. I've used it like three nights already, but I do have like a really bad zit on the side of my face. And I'm not quite sure if it's from using this or if it's just because I have a zit. Who knows? I don't know. But um, yeah, so far so good other than that zit. So yeah. Okay, and then um, I actually didn't purchase this. I got it as a gift, but I've wanted the, these shoes for two years now and I finally got them. I got these at Journeys. They're the Vans and they're these ones. They're the black ones. I'm sure you guys have seen these. Um, but, but, Bert, but they're the black ones. They're the leather perforated ones or the perforated leather ones. And yeah, I just really like them. And I'm so excited because um, I'm going to New York and I'm excited to wear these around New York. Cause you know, they're just really comfy and cute. Okay, I think I'm just a little obsessed with those. Okay, and then, I went to Aritzia, obviously, um, seriously, my favorite store ever, but yeah, I only got a few items, only did a little bit of damage there, so the first item that I purchased are a pair of these Havanas, or Havanas, however you pronounce it, flip flops, and the reason why I actually had to get these was because I was wearing Birkenstocks and I was downtown. And seriously, am I the only one who gets really bad blisters with Birkenstocks? Like, everyone's like, oh, they're so comfy. Like, no, 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 they're not. They're like death, death to my feet. Anyways, so I was just getting really bad blisters and we were walking around. I'm like, you know, I, I can't do this. I can't do this. And I've been wanting a pair of black flip flops for a while. So I just went into Rizia and grabbed these. But then, of course, when I grabbed these, I grabbed other things. So... That's what we're going to talk about right now. Um, yeah. Okay, so the first thing that I got are a pair of these, like, dressy joggers is what I like to call them. Do they actually have a real name? Let me see. Of course I ripped the tag out off. I don't know. Anyways, they're these. I already have a pair of dark gray ones, um, and I wore them all the time, like, every single day last summer, and I thought, you know what? Let me just, let me just buy a couple more. Um, so I got these light gray ones, and they look like this, and they're just really flowy, and then they taper at the leg, like this, and then they have a little elastic, and it basically cuts off, or it basically ends right above your ankle, so it's really flattering, it doesn't make your legs look chunky or whatever. These ones are really nice, and they're really comfortable and very flattering, especially on the tush, you know? Some girls need a little help with that. So, uh, yeah, these are really cute. I love them and they're really comfortable and great for summer. And then I also got a, another pair of them, literally the exact same except in a different color slash print. These are these like really cute purpley gray, black, white printed ones. Um, and again, same idea, tapers in and then has that elastic. And honestly, it's so cute and so comfy and breathable, perfect for summer. And then, last item I got, this. I kind of regret getting this, actually, because I haven't worn it yet, and I don't, I honestly don't know when I'm gonna have the chance to wear them. Anyways, it's just this, like, bandage skirt. I mean, I guess I could wear it, like, any time, but I, I just, I, I honestly rarely ever go out, so I don't know when I'm gonna wear this, but it's really cute. It kind of scrunches at the side and has this, like, extra flap of material, you know? Um, and it would look cute with like a black crop top or something. Who knows? Maybe I'll wear it one day, maybe I won't, whatever. And then, oh, then, so weird. I don't have a bag, but I haven't stepped in a Hollister since like my preteen days or years, um, which was probably like six years ago, I think. And yeah, I've never stepped in, nor have I ever really wanted to step in just because it brought back such like awkward memories. Um, but yeah, one day I was walking and I saw a pair of shorts on this mannequin and I was like, oh my gosh, those are so cute. And then 
course, before walking in, I wanted to see like how much they were because from what I remember from back in the day when I used to go to Hollister, things were like, you know, pretty expensive. And I don't know if that's because I didn't have a job or, and like things were just so much more expensive to me back then because I didn't really have money. Um, but when I like looked at the price, I was like, are you serious? And so I walked in, you know, and I just looked around and things were so much more cheaper. I don't know, weird, but let me know if you guys are you have, have noticed that or if you guys even still walk into Hollister. I, it, like, I have a couple friends who actually work at Hollister, um, so yeah, but my battery's dying so I should probably stop rambling on. Anyways, so I got these pair, this pair of shorts. They're just really drapey and they're really cute um, and they have a cute pattern and I just thought they were really cute to just throw on, you know, why not? So I grabbed those at Hollister. And then, well, the next few items I'm going to show you guys are the last ones, and they're all very, like, winter, fall-ish. So, if you guys don't want to watch them, you can totally just exit this video right now. But, yeah. Okay, so I went to J. Crew, and they were having that, like, 40% off their sale items sale, and so I grabbed a couple items. So I got this navy blue quilted crew neck. Looks like this, super cute, super preppy. Um, it's like kind of cropped, well, it's not super cropped, like you can't see your belly button, but it's not very long. And so it's really flattering and like preppy looking. Um, and I thought that this would just be cute for like the winter time, you know, at class. And it has a zipper at, this, at the back. So I just thought that that would be cute. And then I got this like um, sweater that seriously reminds me of something like free people would sell. It looks like this. It's just like a knit sweater and it has a lot of like, you know, cute texture. It's just like a nude blush sweater that I thought would look cute with like a pair of leggings and booties. Why not? And then the last item I got was from Club Monaco. I just got one thing, um, and I've been on the hunt for a vest for a very, very, very long time. Uh, and I finally found one um, from Club Monaco. I actually originally wanted one from Aritzia, but they sold out of that, and that was like a long time ago. So I finally found one, and I, it's this gray one, and I just thought this would be cute with just like a black long sleeve or something and booties. Um, and it's just gray, and it has a lot of like texture and... You know details and the material is really good and I'm just so excited to wear this which is like what in like four months <laughs> anyways I think now that my room's a mess I think that's everything that I purchased in the last couple of weeks kind of a lot but yeah I've also been working a lot well yeah I have been working a lot so I kind of justified it but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video I looked back at my old videos and I realized that they were really long and I was like wow you really need to cut down like the length of your videos because I didn't even want to finish watching them anyways um, I'm gonna try to edit this so that it's short but like not super fast at the same time because I feel like I'm I'm speaking in like fast forward um, like that option where you can fast forward and people are just talking really fast anyways <sighs> okay so yes I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope that I don't know you guys are able to just share the excitement of like just shopping with me because I just like shopping and um, I don't know maybe some of these items were kind of inspirational to you guys and uh, yeah on my next video like I had said earlier is going to probably be probably be me cutting off my hair and donating it to Pantene so be excited for that I know I am I'm ready to cut these, you know, locks off. And yeah, that's pretty much, oh, my hair's in my face, okay. Okay, so that's everything for my video today. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys very, very soon. Thanks for watching, bye.